Hi, Carl here for Pro V TV. I'm at NAB 2019 at the Aperture stand talking to Ted about all the new products from Aperture. All right, Ted, thank you so much for your time. It's good to see you, Carl. What's new from Aperture? What is new? This one right here, 300D Mark II. We're building in all the feedback, all the things that people said online. We yeah. see your comments. We build them in. We screenshot them. We work on them. We build them <laughs> into the design. Seriously, your online comments change Aperture's history. So. Couple things you guys asked for. One, handbrake style yoke. Mm -hmm. Two, reinforced yoke. Two screws here. Full 360 yoke, so I can now spin this thing all the way. 20% brighter than the 300D Mark I, which and means- that was already pretty bright. That was a pretty bright light. Before it was a 2K. If you're comparing it to HMIs, we're looking at approximately a 400 watt HMI. With the 300D Mark II, we're looking at a 575 watt HMI. Whoa. Brighter, TLCI and CRI of 96, so extremely, extremely color accurate. Big thing here, number one, controller box and ballast built into one. Batteries on opposite sides, so this is actually smaller than the previous controller box. Yeah, because the previous one was a lot longer. A lot longer because we stacked the batteries on top of each other. Mm. Now we do one battery on each side. This can be powered now off of a single battery. Mm -hmm. So I can do one battery on one side, it'll give you 50% of the power. Two, in addition to that, no fans. Totally passive cooling, you can touch it, it doesn't really get hot either. I mean, that's been on all day, presumably. It's been on yeah. all day. Passive cooling, no problem. Dims from 1%, so it can be now the brightly lowest and kind of dimmest light on your set. And I'm gonna crank it up real quick and blind everybody for a quick second, because I'm not looking that way, I don't care. You pointed that right at the camera on doesn't purpose. Doesn't matter, the cameraman can feel it, I don't mind. Doesn't matter, we're hosts, we don't have to worry Dan's about- Dan's got a tan now. Feelings of the camera, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, so right here, dims all the way up to 100%, 575 watt HMI. Right here, new battery readout. So this will actually tell you to the minute how much okay. power you have on your battery. So it'll tell you if you're running out of gas and you're on the freeway and you don't know if you're going to be able to make it to the next gas station, this will tell you 21 minutes of battery left. That's actually really cool because it uses two batteries. It's quite hard to rely on the ones built onto batteries for Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Having so it there is great. Putting these batteries on, it'll now tell you how much time you have. If you have 10 minutes left, you know you can get that wedding kiss in time before your light cuts out. So really, really, really important like stuff there. On the top here, built-in antenna. No longer breaking antennas anymore. It's now all built in, one clean design. That right there, Wi-Fi compatibility. This light can now be powered via app. Okay. So pull out your iPhone, pull out your Android. You can now dim it up and down, strike them on and off. On the back here, you've got three ways to mount it. One, you've got little feet here, so I can actually just set it down on the floor, easy peasy. Uh -huh. Two, I've got this paracord here. This will hold 1,500 pounds. It's super, super simple. This is the same cable that parachuters use to jump right. off. So this is something that people have to really rely their lives on. Three, I've got this super clamp here on the side here. And because our cameraman is amazing and not blind yet, he's probably going to get some amazing people. He's damn paying attention. Of this. <laughs> but all I've got to do to snap this on is I click this out, I snap this in, bang. And now I can now clamp this in anywhere that I want to. But here's the reason why you might actually not need to clamp it in a lot of the time is because one, the cables on all of these are getting extended. So on the bottom here, this right here is a six meter long Nutric locking cable. So plenty of distance there. And this has now been changed from, male to, from female to female to male to female, which means you can now use any standard XLR cable. Oh, It'll actually cool. ship with a 7.5 meter long cable. So you get the long ones as standard yes. shipping. So you can leave your controller box on the floor, mm -hmm. rig it up, put it on a mega boom, no yeah. problem. You can actually rig it over people and not have a problem there as well. Uh, if you're looking in feet, that's approximately about 22 feet, so super, super long, don't need to worry about it. Okay, that's really cool. Now, you mentioned it has a fanless design. That means it's a lot quieter, presumably, because that silent. was always yes. something with the last one, yes. was it's a very bright light, but it had a fan that came with yes. that in order to keep the thing cool. Yeah, we tried to originally design the fans that would be here in the actual controller box. Uh, originally, it was just fans here, and the controller box fan was something that you could set aside. Again, we knew it wasn't ideal, but we're working with kind of cutting edge technology here. Mm -hmm. Hard to get all the details right. Fanless design, we heard the feedback that everyone was giving, fixing it here, you're not gonna hear it anymore. Cool. Yeah. So let's go over the RGB light now. Yes. Um, is that the same one that we saw a prototype of as IBC? No, because we did a couple design upgrades. Okay, so what's uh, changed? Do you want pricing and availability on this real quick? Uh, that's okay, we'll link no. to the products in the, on our website down, down cool. below in the description. Sounds that's good. probably the most up-to-date place to get okay, it anyway. Okay, cool, sounds good. Uh, yeah, so $12.99 on this, this will be cheap. Moving on for the RGB light. So it's a little bit different. One of the things that we found out, we're really taking our time with this one because we want to make sure all the details are right. Yeah. The goal of this is to be a light that the high end 
basically respects that a light that is just as robust, just as beefy, just as uh, serious as basically the stuff that they're using on a lot of the ASC sets, a lot of the big high-end sets. But we also want it to be something that's affordable enough for Indio owner operators. And we want it lightweight and portable enough too, so that's hard. Basically, the ad additional design here from IBC is we actually built in the ballast into the actual light itself, so it doesn't hang off the back anymore. It's one clean design, that's a little bit lighter so weight. useful for people that are moving around all yes. the time. Especially for uh, Indio owner operators, we know that you don't have three grips to move your light and be able to secure your ballast and secure your battery plate. We know a lot of the time it's just one person you need to throw a light on. So now if you want an RGB light, it's a serious light that the high end can basically throw around. It's beefy, it's intense, has all the high end functions. 300 Roscoe and Lee gels built into it, HSI, color picker mode, all that's built into it, but it's lightweight and price wise, USD wise, it's about $16.99, so extremely affordable as well. Yeah, that's a great price for an RGB light. That's it's about a third, a third the cost of a lot of the competition out there. So. Really cool. I, I noticed some accessories as well. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. So the biggest accessory release is the new spotlight mount. So if you're familiar with a Leco light or a Source 4 or anything like that, you know that a lot of lights are even more powerful when you can project them. Because you can project them, you can change the beam angle, you can actually uh, use leaves to cut, you can make a perfect square or a triangle on the wall. This right here is a Bowens mount spotlight mount that will actually turn all of your 120 and 300D lights into a projectable light that I can shine onto the wall. And it puts gobos in there. I can slip something like, happy birthday, Carl. C congratulations on being a dad, Carl. C happy grandfather day, Carl. I can put all of this, cut these lines into the actual light, project these things. I can put fire textures. I can put tree textures. I can put really cool. All of that in there. Bowens mount light. Priced at about 499 USD, which is okay. extremely affordable as well. Interchangeable lens system in addition to that. I mean, that is quickly becoming the sort of main advantage of using the 120D and the 300D. Yeah. So they're just, they're just so flexible. You guys yeah. have done such a great job of putting all the accessories that you need on it. They're one of the most flexible lights that yeah. can do all the jobs. You can yeah. stick a big light dome on it and have it as your soft key light, stick one of those on it and project from across the room. Yeah. And Having that only one light is a big deal. Absolutely, and we're really trying to think about our users here. It's not just about making these kind of proprietary, a lot of companies do this and I hate this, they're like, oh, if you want to use our gear, you have to use it with our accessories. Sure. The Bowens mount has been around forever. Yeah. If you have Bowens mount accessories, I encourage you, yeah. go, there's a world out there of things you can try and You guys play do with. so many accessories, that, that's easy to forget about. Yes. So it's easy to think, oh, okay, they, they pair with all their accessories. You can use anything from a balance mount, which a has been around for donkey's beauty use. Dish, a beauty dish, any of the beauty dishes, a snoot, a grid. There's yeah. so many accessories out there that are exciting that uh, we're not trying to take those away from you. We want to expand the capabilities and the abilities that you can use for them. Yeah. Last accessory, okay. the Aperture Lantern. So basically, if you're familiar with like a gem ball or a globe or a china ball or any of these attachments, a lot of the time you know that you want soft light. It's like the light dome. You want soft light in one direction. but Maybe one direction isn't enough. Maybe you have a round table scene. You want to light everybody. Maybe you got two people doing a podcast or an interview. With a lantern, you now get 360 soft light, 24 inches across that you can just hang in between people. Round table scene, literally hang it, you're done. Yeah. If you want to cut it off of someone, if you want, say you have different skin tones or you want to cut it off the walls, you can now roll up. We have a skirt that attaches with it. And it's not like Duvetine where you have to put clamps and clips and be able to kind of diaper it on there. This is actually double-sided Velcro that I can use to attach the skirt to itself. So I can roll up and do fine adjustments in all my lighting that way as well. That's really, I love lighting yeah. with some one of those. If you've got the ceiling height, being able to just hang it above, like, like oh. now, just hanging one above us here. Yes. Beautifully key light, both yeah. of us. It's a wonderful way of working. And it looks so natural too. It's not two different sources that are casting two different shadows. Yeah. I just get one little light, yeah. beautiful soft, so fast, so quick and easy. Yeah. yeah. Cool, right, thank you so much. Thanks so much for coming by, Carl. It's good to see you as always.